I'm just doing a run up. Okay, let's try this out. Okay. <laughs> it's just the run up sucks. That looks like it really sucks. This is the Warden's Gap. It's a pretty big step down with a bit of a sketchy run in. You find it right off the Warden's Trail, which is more of a shortcut trail while you're hiking up Mount Frome. This is the first time I got to see this gap in person, so Wesley and I were doing some run ups to see if we would actually want to hit it or not. It looks so sweet, but I just wish the run in was better. Hmm? Yeah? I think that you should like go faster. Like I feel like you'll just like float off it. I'll do like one more run up. If I don't feel it then I'll just go up. Yeah. Go yeah I know. I'm just gonna do another run up too. I mean this this run in could be in better condition too, right? Like yeah, like cause you could definitely like clean this up, put some dirt over some stuff to smooth it out to make it better. Right now it's not in as good a shape. I definitely could clear that, I think. No brakes? Yeah, just no brakes after that little running, obviously, and just like pump as much as you can. He's coming. Oh, shit. oh, oh, the man. case, the case. Oh, man. Yeah, I was afraid of that kind of thing. I kind of cased it. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, baby. I literally, my heart stopped. I thought I was going over the bars there. How's your bike doing? Oh, my bike's doing okay. 26 inch wheels. <laughs> They're stronger than 27.5. Where did that Who run? Knows? Like right here? I don't know. Probably, yeah, I think it was like right there. So Wesley did something pretty interesting. He recently put on 26 inch wheels onto his 2016 Giant Glory. Now that bike is made for 27.5 inch wheels. Now Reese Wallace, who is a pro rider, you may have heard of him. He's participated in numerous slope style competitions before. He has the same bike and he also puts 26 inch wheels on his. So that inspired Wesley to go ahead and do the same thing for his bike as well. Tell me about uh, the wheels, the wheel size that you put on. These? <laughs> yeah. Good 26 inch. You put 26 inch. For a 27.5 bike, but you know what? feel pretty good. When you're just hiking your bike up, it can definitely take a while, but we still went all the way to the very top and started with 7th Secret. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, 7th Secret, fist bumps. Fist bumps. Yes. All right. Woo! Woo! A little bit <laughs> slippery. All right. I feel like I should have less air pressure in my tires. Woo. Oh. My back tire is just like drifting. Oh, Wesley fell down. Huh. You okay? What did you hit? I don't know, I just like, I went on this corner and the front wheel came out and oh, it's not only small rocks. There's like a massive bruise coming on. Send it. Send it. Send it. Yeah. Whoa, these corners. You may notice I have a different handlebar on my bike. This is a Chromeg bar, it's from my Norco Truax. I'm still waiting for my new bar to come in the mail, so this is my temporary fix for now. The one I'm getting though is a Race Face Atlas, and I think it's gonna look really sweet. Oh, I took a little bit of a bail. Oh, did you? Yeah. Similar kind of thing, just in the corners. You yeah. <laughs> I know, they're so tight. There we go. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The skinny. Ooh. Oh, yeah, 
Skinny. That's the Yes, I did it. Oh. oh! Almost did it! Almost! Dude! Let's go! Let's do it! Oh! Come on! Sick. Yes! Oh, yeah. Yes! Sick! Yeah, that was sketchy, man. Oh, oh man, that could have been bad. Dude, I went straight down that rock. I saw that, I was like. Dude, I was freaking out. <laughs> I didn't even go where you're supposed to go. I went like here. Should we just do espresso or whatever? Let's do it. Send it. Do it. Oh, just want one. Crap! Frick! Frick! Okay, we have to restart that. That was unacceptable. Oh man. Hey, you, I'm gonna get messed up guys. I'm crap. Gonna... You had a small one at the beginning, so. Sorry. So that's true. Right. <laughs> oh, see, it did right there. You guys see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there. What happens? Like, it's so weird. All right. Oh, I missed the uh, skinny. Of the three North Shore mountains, Mount Frome does seem to be the most geared towards enduro bikes. The trails are pretty tight and twisty and, and a lot of flat-ish pedally sections. It just makes having a big downhill bike seem like a bit much for these kind of trails. Cypress and Seymour do seem to be more catered to the downhill bikes. Okay, something, just like something's rubbing. I think that's my fender. Yeah, it is. Shoot. Well, I'm not rubbing anymore. Dude, that was sick. Yeah, it's a good line. Ooh. There you go. Okay, I'm so bad at these skinny, seriously. Oh, I just bought an old school line. Oh, yes. Oh, dude, this is kind of gnarly. You know what, I'm not feeling up to it.
probably missed a bunch of good stuff. Or not. Really. Good yeah. I just wanted to give a reminder that if you are interested in supporting this channel through Patreon, I do have a $3 level where you can watch my videos usually one or two days early. And a lot of videos like this one are extended cuts. That means that you will see the full trails uncut as well as some extra behind the scenes footage. They're also uncensored and ad free of course. Or you can just leave a simple $1 pledge to be part of the community. Or for $15 a month, you'll be credited at the end of my videos. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, right on. Pretty cool. Oh, oh. All right, let's do it. That was fun. There's Dem Penzel or Dempsey. Come on, Dempsey. Okay. It was really nice to be able to ride Mount Frome in such nice conditions since it is winter time and that's not so easy to do. It does rain a lot here in the lower mainland. I got lots more great rides coming up for you guys, so stay tuned. Yeah, for sure. Glad you came. Yeah, it was lots of fun. Thank you for watching. I want to give a special thanks to my Boostmaster patrons. If you love downhill and free ride or just love riding mountain bikes, then consider subscribing. And if you like to see more content and keep me rolling on two wheels, then check out my Patreon page.